Do you know that? Do you know that phrase? Uh, when? Oh, what the fuck is the phrase? I don't. I don't seem to know the phrase either. <laughs> those who can teach, and those who can't. No, that's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> those who can do, and those who can't teach. Right? Have you heard of that? But it can't be true for driving instructors, can it? I mean, the very basic requirement is that they know how to drive. Surely, surely. But why then do they sit on the passenger side? Lazy, that's why. I just think that um, some of them seem to, seem to be using it as a, as a way to get paid for running errands. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I remember like about four lessons in, we were cruising down the high street about seven miles an hour. I felt like Lewis Hamilton, a princess. Um, and, uh, you know, it was like 0 to 12 in 60 minutes with Keith. And he goes, pull over. And I was like, pull over? I don't know pull over. I know straight on. And I know, no, not like that. That's uh, roundabouts. Um, <laughs> lesson three. Uh, he goes, pull over outside this chemist. I want to, uh, I need to top up my angina medicine. I was like, fuck off, Keith. Thanks for telling me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if you have a heart attack, don't expect me to get you safely to the hospital. Because <laughs> I am well over the limit. <laughs> no. I was 17 years old. It was the 1990s. We were all off our faces on acid house. Um, so, uh, so, we, so, so he, he never fucking... He, he left me. He got out as best he could without his zimmer. And, uh, but he left the keys in the ignition. I could have just driven off on my own, you know, if he'd ever fucking taught me anything. Um, <laughs> but he, he never taught me the manoeuvres. The day before the lesson, I was like, Keith, please, please, will you just teach me how to uh, reverse around a corner. Uh, little did I know how useful that manoeuvre was going to come in <laughs> later on. Uh, but he, uh, he fucking turned on me. He started, like, jabbing his cigar at me. And he went, don't you tell me my job, you cunt. <laughs> And it was scary, but at the same time, it was kind of reassuring because it showed that he understood it was a job, you know, and I wasn't just his unpaid carer. <laughs> anyway, so in the end, miraculously, I passed. Yay. Yeah, 10 years later. <laughs> with BSM, they're a very good company. Um, and I think... There's just one thing that I'd like us all to learn from this, and that is, don't learn to drive with your dad. (laughs) 